na Reverend Fuke dukate cake along together with Reverend Fuke let's let's So please excuse me. These tears are still flowing. I'm not in any sorrow. God is answering me. You are answers as well. But, but I feel the tears of joy. I'm no longer ashamed to cry even if it's a big congregation. Not ashamed anymore. A long time ago, people told me because of makeup, no, 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 don't no, cry so much. I'm much. I said, I'm going to let go of the makeup instead of losing the tears of the so, Holy Spirit. Arumva. He understands. He's a good listener. He's a good listener. Ah, he's the one who tells us not to let go. He tells us to stand firm. Hallelujah. 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 The word of God says that this hope cannot let us down. If you are a son and daughter of God, born again, believe Jesus as your Lord and Savior. This hope does not let us down. Let us proclaim him with a big round of applause as a child. He is a great king. He is a king who never lets us go. A friend that comes out when you're in trouble. The God who allows us to prepare and allows us to live through it. Uh, because I walk with Jesus. I feel like thanking him every other time much greater than before. And I also feel like uh, asking for his forgiveness for the past. He's the only one. He's faithful. He's loyal to us. He had never give up on us. The other thing I love about him, he understands us well. We have people that may misinterpret us. And yet they try to understand us. But because they don't have the capacity of understanding us better, they misinterpret us. But Jesus. 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 He understands. He's a good listener. He's a good listener. Uh, he's the one who tells us not to let go. He tells us to stand firm. He sees us as orphans when in identity we actually have parents. And he becomes a better parent. Allow us to give him thanks. Those near and far, let's give God the glory. Those who are sitting in other holes, let's give him thanks. Thank him and tell him, Lord, we are here. Even you who is in the vehicle, you cannot enter here. Just thank God. Thank him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is faithful and truthful. Amen. You'll excuse me. From Saturday. From Saturday, I had uh, tears of joy. So please excuse me. These tears are still flowing. I'm not in any sorrow. God is answering me. You are answers as well. 
but but I feel the tears of joy. I'm no longer ashamed to cry even if it's a big congregation. Not ashamed anymore. A long time ago, people told me because of makeup, no, no, don't no, cry so much. I'm much. I said, I'm going to let go of the makeup instead of losing the tears of the so, Holy Spirit. So please excuse me on Sunday. I, I had a headache and even I lost my voice because of it. But honestly, I'm at peace. Tell your neighbor that something that will happen to you will give a good change, a positive change in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The best way of, or the worst way of being a victim is that we lost our nation. But the fact that we are back in our own nation and we congregate as women it's because God used some people. Uh, every time in every generation there are Nehemiahs that restore. Even this very place where we are congregating today. This place cannot be threatened by any penny or coin. They look at the testimony before they look at money. They look at reputation before money. So for them allowing us to have this congregation here, we thank them and may the Lord bless them. We are grateful to our nation and may the Lord bless them. May the Lord bless the leaders of our nation. Uh, for them to allow us to be as some of them are with us in the congregation. I will tell you they are always around. You may not see them physically. But and we are grateful to God for his excellence. It's possible you stand up and give God a round of applause. We are grateful to God for his excellence. We thank God for his family. We thank God for the whole government behind him. All of the government levels. We are grateful to God for you. God bless you. God bless you. And may God love on you because he knows best about you. Allow me. I indulge you. For us to open this conference glorifying God. Let's give God the honor. I'm talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's not the God I came with from my family. His God was revealed himself to you and to me. We give you all the glory. We give you We give you all the glory. We give you Shima Shimimana Twese Hamge Shimana Hame Shimimana Alleluia Shimimana Hame Bana Turagu Shimi Lord we thank you we are here as your daughters. We are here in your very place. You have saved us. You continue to save us. And you continue to save us. May you grant us your joy. Isaiah 12. We shall draw joy from the wells of joy. From the wells of joy. Wells of salvation. 
wells of salvation. That's where we shall draw joy. Lord, all of the other wells can dry out. But this well of salvation, the one where I drew in 1991, it has never dried out. That's why I ask God for everyone that has come to this congregation. Give them the opportunity to draw from the well of salvation. Even though they may forget the faces. Even though they forget my name. But may they never forget Jesus Christ. Who walk into your daughters. And touch them in a special way. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. For the miracles you perform. For the sicknesses you leave. For the barrenness that you take away. For the sicknesses that already heal. We give you the glory. For the anointing in this place. We give you the glory. Or for those who are near to and far, we give you the glory. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Glory to God. I want to see your smile. We no longer have face masks on us. If someone was really nice, you could even see it through the face mask. We thank God that now we can smile with our teeth. After two years, uh, of missing out on all women together conference. It's the tenth time, but we have gone through 12 years altogether. We thank God that today it's the tenth time for this gathering. We officially open it. In the spirit, may the heavens open over anyone that is here. Today. In the spirit, may things be done like they've never been done before. A wonderful conference. People ask me. Please assume your seats. Uh, what, what is special that will happen there? I told them, as women, even when we look at each other, we are healed. Look at the woman next to you. If you're not healed, that lady, that woman. We are very blessed women. Some guys are not uh, uh, as a man told me, women, you talk together, you're touching each other and sharing on the same plate. But if men did that, it would look crazy. So we are happy to be in a fellowship of the saints. I am a, I am mignon. Yes, ashimne. Glory to God. I am blessed to be before you. It's not me, it's not me. But may the name of the Lord be glorified. There is no power that could take you from your house to bring you here. But Jesus has done it. So we are blessed. And honored to welcome ministers and servants of God in different categories. Uh, servants of God in religion. Servants of God in the government. And servants of God in the private sector. They are all serving God. Yeah. But they serve God in respective capacities. We welcome you all in Jesus' name. We are honored. Uh, we shall not distinctively say any names. But you are very humbled and honored. 
turi kumwe na ba honorable hano ariko mbere yo kubakira turi kumwe na ba ministre we are with Amen. honorables here and we are also with ministers in the house mumva tari byiza isn't that good Amen. We are with the members of parliaments. Uh, those ones have our responsibility in their hands. Amen. Uh, yeah, they are uh, servants of the civil society and we are part yeah. of it. We are together with CEOs from different together with CEOs from different companies. After reading the scripture that says those who deserve honor should be honored. I'm not ashamed to say that. We are grateful to God for all of the judges in the house. We are grateful to God for the doctors in the house. We are thanking God for everyone here. We thank God for the minister who has the responsibilities of gender and family yeah. issues with us. Honorable Professor Baisenge Jeanette, please wave to the church. May the Lord bless you. Uh, Amen. It's a great honor. We are with the lady. Yeah, She's a wife to my spiritual father who left a, a while ago, but he's the one who gave, uh, led me to God. Pastor. Yeah. Pastor. Yeah. We have the wife of Pastor Mama David Daruhutse. May the Lord uh, bless you for coming. I love her so much and I honor her. Because her husband is the reason we have the light sh shining upon us. May the Lord bless him as well. Servants of God from the government, please stand up. Please stand up for recognition. It's a very great honor to be with you. May the Lord bless you. We are together with <laughs> wonderful women from this city and from the villages. Those women that you don't know where to locate them, they are friends of Mignon. These are wonderful women. All of visitors that have come to be with us in this conference, please stand up and we see you. Amen. It's not the first time, but you only come for conferences. If you're here and you just visit us in conferences, stand up on your feet. Only if you come for conferences. Stand up on your feet and wave to the people. Yes, May the Lord bless you. We have a diaspora of about 80 delegates. I'll ask the people from the diaspora in all women together to stand up on their feet. Glory to God for you. A big round of applause for these people. Some of them, while they are still on their feet. It's been over 20 years since they were last in this country. Some of them come every year. But this time, specifically, they came for this conference. We are grateful to you. Thank you so much for coming to Philadelphia. We have people from Burundi, we have the Rwandese. Different people. Amen. Yes, Abahumujisha. May the Lord bless you. you may take us. We have about 10 people from the UK. We have some from Sweden. Over 10. We have some from the US. About 10 of them. About 10 of them from Canada. About 5 of them from France. 9 from Belgium. One of them came from Italy. Luxembourg. 
from Istanbul, Holland, Holland, Switzerland, Switzerland, Poland, Poland, Benin, Benin, Angola. Angola, Uganda, Uganda, Kenya, Kenya, Tanzania, Tanzania, Burundi, Burundi. Amashimeshi. A big round of applause. We are very honored. While they are sleeping, everybody is happy. They have different giftings. And God told us they will bring those giftings from all of those nations. Thank you for paying your flights, your flight tickets and traveling in this high season. Maybe on Sunday we shall Friday. show you off, uh, at the end. Yeah, on, on Friday. So while I wait to receive the, the guest, guest of honor, I'm going to receive the guest of honor in a short while to open to open this conference I'm going to tell you something I was told it's not a long while it's a word I've shared with all of you it's in Matthew 28 uh, from verse 1 I will not go to the Bible to rush through it it is when Mary Magdalene went to the grave the Bible says that she went with another Mary that was a very big one in me. Uh, God told me, Mignon, there are some Mary Magdalene's that are recognized. But this conference of the year 2022, it is going to reveal the other Marys. Another Mary. Another Mary. It's going to reveal the other Mary. Uh, Matthew 28, it says another Mary. If we, look, we do, if we look at her past, we don't know anything about her. It's another Mary. But that other Mary, even though we don't know her past, we saw her walking with Mary Magdalene to the grave of Jesus. God told me there are people you don't know but that will be revealed in this time. And they will be revealed in such a great time. They are women that are going to be raised by God in such a hard time. Uh, they were not revealed when Jesus was alive. But when Jesus died that's when they were revealed. God is raising women that are standing when things are hard. Uh, those are the other Marys. Those are the people that will love when it's hard to love. Those are people that will not love you ceremonially. They will walk with you even at the hardest of times. They are being raised in the nation. They are being raised in the church. They are being raised in families. They are women who bash things, not things coming to them. They don't need names. They don't need to be famous. But they need to be solutions. They want to come to the rescue when it's hard. They don't want the last congratulations. They don't want a certificate. They don't want approval. They just want to support. May God give you the other Mary. Somebody proclaim I'm the other Mary that is being great. These women, uh, we see a woman that was asked, do you want to be known to the king? We see her in the kings. Do you want to be known to the king? Do you want to be known to the general? She said, no. I have people I belong to. I don't have a problem of being known. Because these people I know them. But they've never given me birth. There is something we, we need. That cannot be given by Something we need that cannot be given by 
Something we need that cannot be given by people. But you need to do something right at the right time. And it goes before God. And it goes before God. What she did, she built a room for the prophet in the upper room. That the prophet went to the she had a room for the prophet in the upper room. That the prophet went to the upper room. She had an old 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 room. But it worked that night. In this conference, it's going to happen again. Yo, Shakira, Manu, Mabini, Shangwa, Batati, Burjo, Ani, Momoso. Look for two people on the right, on the left. What is dead is going to be risen. The man was so old. He was very old. But this woman stayed faithful. She stayed faithful. She stayed faithful to his oldness. The age that does not caress her. Yeah, that husband. He was the husband that not does not. He was so old. Yara kuze chani. But that woman, she stood like another Mary. They ask her, do you want to be known to the king? I'm fine here. I'm comfortable. Because it's not, it's not about the show off. It's about what I'm doing in the secret. It's about what I do every day. When I'm on, on my knees every day, I have the Lord who sees me. It's not about women. It's not about fame. Mary. You're the other Mary that God is going to anoint. In Mark 16, the same women. One, two, three. They went to, to both to buy something like they, they, aromas. they went to buy beautiful aroma. incense. Aroma. 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 Yeah, aromat. Yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> continue, continue. Yeah. They both spices. And we Jesus was died. He was died. And we Jesus was died. Yes, we are amazed at the Why buying? Why buying spices? And the Lord died already. Why buying? But they bought it. They said, let's, 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 let's both it. Let's buy it. We can bring the spices. Because we cannot remove the, the stone. The stone is heavy ahead of us. We have a stone at the tomb of Jesus Christ. We can't remove Jesus. it. But we don't have strength as women to remove the stone. But what we can do, we can buy spices. Let's buy some garlic. Let's buy the spices. Let's buy the spices. The woman God is going to raise will buy spices and Jesus will remove the rock. Otherwise, all women together, uh, all women together is taking us uh, to a place where we shall not be weary. We are not going to toil hard. Let's talk. Uh, uh, apostle, th those women say, let's discuss. Who, who is going to remove the stone? We are going at the tomb of Jesus Christ. Okay, we have spices. And this, those, these spices, we want to, to put them at the body of Christ. But Christ is in. And up, there's a stone. And we are, we are unable to, to remove it. But the Bible says, three women, Mary Magdala, Mary the mother of Salome, and another Mary, they said, our responsibility is to associate ourselves. We connect ourselves. Women must connect. We must connect. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, don't rebel. We must connect. 
Tugomba gukundana. We should love each other. Ni pastori. Ah, ni pastori. Ah, I'm a pastor. Wo urachuruza. You're a business woman. I need you. Ndagukeneye. I need your support. Nyene kushigikira. But you need my prayer. Ariko na ukeneye isengesho ryanje. Tugomba gufatanya. We should work together. They never remove the rope. But Jesus loved women who are confused. They are troubled but they buy the spices. They go to Chimirong and they go to Prerons and pray. Uh, they pray. They say he's going to do it. And those are spices. As they bring the spices together, the rock was removed before they ever knew it. Tonight, God has removed the rock. That is where I wanted to leave it. And then when they arrived, the angel who had removed the rock was sitting on the rock. But because they went and they did not know how to walk. When you don't walk, you don't see an answer. If they ask you what are you going to do, you know women say, I'm just going. It is done, it is done, it is done, it is done. It is done. Thank you so much. Uh, today, I feel like the anointing, the one even that I had. I, I see my mama here. She's come to shop. Reverend Funke Adejumo. Reverend Funke Adejumo. Today, for her to be here, the stone that was in front of me is gone. It's been removed already. Because of buying the spices, you just buy them. Can spices remove a stone? But the faith they had removed the stone. I love you guys. You may take your seats. Honorable minister. You're welcome. Along together with Reverend Fouke, let's, let's cut the cake together. We are going to cut the cake. And then you shall hear the words from the minister. In a few moments, we shall receive the preacher after that. After the speech, we shall also be honored to receive the servant of God that will minister to us tonight. Allow me to welcome our guest of honor with a round of applause. We can do better than that. Even those that came from the provinces and that's why we welcome them. Let them stand up on their feet. Those are women of God. Pastors of churches. Those are women of God. Pastors of churches. Women, the Lord has blessed. They are here and they are being hosted in Kigali. Thank you for coming, women of God. We shall host you, welcome Let you better tomorrow. Let's welcome the guest of honor, the minister. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Yapotre mignone. Ijamburijanje itegu ya mucho njereza wale negu ya mucho njereza. 
ariko kuko hariho translation teka nta kibazo kirimo um the founder of women foundation ministries distinguished guest ladies and gentlemen all protocols observed good evening good afternoon good morning for those in different time zone following us online It is an honor for me to join you today as we open All Women Together 2022 conference, another theme from victims to champions. Please allow me to thank Women Foundation Ministries for organizing this event. I'm confident that the coming three days will be a full opportunity to be, to hear God's words, different related testimonies and the exchange that will transform our lives for, for the better, but also for the well-being of our families, for our families. <clears throat> this theme of the, of the year, from victims to champions, reflect well the journey of men of us, our history as a country, and specifically as women. Girango biro roche tukebuke, hawa nyarugwanda kazi, higi uguchur gwanda, kumvaneza iteme yuyu mngak. Kuko, after the genocide, against the Tutsi in 1994, the new leadership adopted a transformative journey to actively involve women and girls in, in rebuilding the country that was devastated in all the angles so that they participate at the same stand as their fellow husband and brothers. During that time, women and girls were in high numbers, and some of them had went through personal horrific tragedies. It was difficult to imagine their future or their capability to go forward with such heavy burdens. We thank God above all for giving us leaders who value and respect women. Today, women and girls are contributing considerably to the development of our country in terms of leadership, economy, good governance, and in, in every other aspect of our nation. That is what I see and grasp when I hear you talking about from victim to champions. Javuzwe cyane ko igihugu cyacu cyashyize imbere kwimakaza ihame ry'uburinganire ndetse no guteza imbere umugore n'umwana w'umukobwa ibi rero tubibonera mu mategeko meza agenda ashyirwaho na za politique ndetse no kwindiza ihame ry'uburinganire mu mirongo migari iyo bo igihugu a vision 2050 ndetse na gahunda ya guverinoma y'imyaka 7 tuzi nka national strategy for transformation the concept of gender equality and complementarity usually known as in Kinyarwanda as uburinganire n'ubwuzuzanye is an approach opted by our government through the ministry of gender and family promotion our main goal is to challenge unequal power relations, the mentalities, and create a more inclusive and equal society, which allows women and girls to have the same rights and opportunities as their fellow women, their fellow men and boys. And to achieve these goals, we have initiated community approaches, such as Friends of Families, known as Inshuti Zumuryango, Mugoro Wawi Miryango, 
family evening forums, which consist in meeting once a month and discussing on different matters related to family, and follow up on family living in conflicts to help them in such difficult times. Murumva ko na jemu nshinga no za ministeri, nizi jugu mkua kumurijangu shoe kanu tekanye. It was a bit challenging to, to reconcile the theme of today and the mandate of, of the ministry, but at the end, it wasn't really that difficult. Koko tukwe se tukifuza kuwa kumurijangu kushowa ikanu tekanye. Hoginis and that the family is the foundation of the Rwandan society, the Minister of Gender and Family Promotion acknowledges that all changes within our homes, as well as um, start within our homes, as we, we are all product of our upbringing. Women in our society occupy special places as custodians of our culture and the pillars of our families. They give birth, they nurture, they raise children along, along their husbands. However, with modernization, our society, of our societies and changes in the family uh, structures, women had to step out of their traditional roles and acquire new roles outside the usual family compound. Nevertheless, uh, the former responsibilities were maintained, and this creates a challenge for women overall. Statistically, women and girls spend much more time handling from domestic work than men and boys, and these dynamics affect the stability and peace of families, and they are more related to how society has defined the role of a man and a woman. Despite the current challenges that the families are facing, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the parents who are doing their best to raise the future of Rwanda. The scriptures say, Proverbs chapter 22, verse, verse 6, train up a child in the way he should go. And, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. In this evolving world, I'm challenging parents to cater for the development of their children in all aspects. A special focus should be given to the child's emotions while working on his or her behavior and discipline to allow him or her to better life in a society, to self-confident and instrumental in the, the development of our country. It is in that context that I'm here tonight to commend the work of Women Foundation Ministries as your approach focus on spiritual, emotional, and financial capacities of women to empower families. Dear women, ladies, mothers, and sisters, I want to call everyone here to actively involve men and boys in challenging the traditional norms and negative masculinities, which lead to lasting behavioral change with men and boys as strong allies in the cause of empowering women and girls. By the way, we have been calling sisters, mothers, beautiful ladies who are here, gathered here today. But we have together here, we are together here with our brothers, our he for she, who support toward this journey. As I move to the conclusion, I sincerely hope that the interactions and deliberation from this year conference will result into tangible actions 
followed by specific laws and tasks for each and everyone here present, and those who are following us online to advance in women's journey of change from victims to champions. I learned that achieving success does not come overnight. It can cost many lives and time, people's lives and their times. Success requires a lot of sacrifices. Therefore, when you achieve physical or spiritual victory, you rejoice and protect it at all costs. Because every time the enemy will try to attack, to, to attack it. Apotre Mignone Yavuzengo, Kwebga Wakobga Nyo Tureva Nyo Turachira. And this is really very much connected to the last paragraph of my remarks. Because I was to call upon to all of you to continue to support each other as sisters. Let us be a shoulder to lean on for those who are still in the journey toward the victory. And with the support of men and boys as key allies, indeed, we shall be all champions. I thank you all for your kind attention and wish you a great evening. Arakoze cyane nyakuba wa ministre mu nyemerere bine katwakire kuri video ah uje gusemura nuko bihina mu magambo make kuko hari bya yakomeje komoza mu kinyarwanda Muyobozi wa W wa Women Foundation Ministries ndetse n'abanyacyubayiro mu tiraniya no mwese ni byicyubayiro gufungura iki giterane cya All Women Together bibiri makunya na kabiri ko mugaragaro ubuhamya buzahatangirwa no butumwa buzahatangirwa twizera ko buzubaka imiryango yacu igihugu cyacu ndetse n'itorero ryacu nk'abagore yisanganya matsiko y'iki giterane yo kuva mu gutsikamirwa twinjira mu gutsinzi turayumva nk'abagore b'abanyarwanda kazi bitewe n'amateka yacu ya genocide twanyuzemo igiye twatsikamirwaga by'indenga kamere ndetse tukabasha kuba twarabivuyemo tukaba tugeze aho tugeze uyu munsi wa none turashima uyoze bw'igihugu cyacu bwiza dushima umukuru w'igihugu kuba yaragize uruhare rukomeye cyane mu gufasha abagore kuva mu gutsikamirwa twinjira mu utsinze bwacu abagore bagira uruhare rukomeye mu muryango wacu barabyara ndetse bagafatanya n'abagabo kurera nubwo igiye tugezemo haje kubaho iminduka zikomeye zitandukanye bitewe nuko ibinyeje na bigenda bishyira ibindi bituma duhangana nibindi bitandukanye tugomba kureba uburyo ibiterane nk'ibi ngibi twabyigiramo ingingo zatuma tubasha kurushaho kunesha mu migani ya 22 murongo wa gatandatu havuga ko utoza umwana inzira akiri muto akazayikuriramo muri isi irimo impinduka zitari zimwe turasaba ababyeyi kwita ku burere bw'abana babo turashimira cyane Women Foundation Ministries kubera uburyo bafasha abagore kugira uruhare rukomeye mu kubaka imiryango yabo nubwo iki gitane twakomeje kuvuga kubari ndetse n'abategarugori beza bateraniya turashimira imana ko ari nabasaza bacu bahi for she baje gushyigikira iyi vision negera mu gusoza ndifuza kubibutsa ko nubwo turimo kuva mu gutsikamirwa twinjira mu butsinzi nkuko isanganya matsiko bivuga tugomba no kurusha gukomeza gutekereza kugusigasira iyo ntsinzi twijiyemo murakoze cyane murakoze twagira ngo twakire umukozi w'Imana Christine Shusho abaramutse kuva muri